The airline industry is a turbulent one and few airlines have faced as much turbulence in recent times as Spirit Airlines. As of November 13, 2023, reports surfaced that Spirit Airlines was preparing to file for bankruptcy protection. This news sent shockwaves through the industry and left many wondering how one of the nation's largest low-cost carriers found itself in such dire straits. The answer, as is often the case, is complex and multifaceted. Spirit's potential bankruptcy filing follows the breakdown of merger discussions with Frontier Airlines. This attempted merger, had it been successful, could have potentially provided Spirit with a much-needed lifeline. However, the deal ultimately fell apart, leaving Spirit to grapple with its financial woes on its own. Adding to the uncertainty, Spirit Airlines has yet to issue a public statement regarding the bankruptcy reports. The airline's financial struggles have been no secret, with Spirit reporting losses in five out of the last six quarters. This consistent inability to turn a profit has placed immense pressure on the company's balance sheet and raised serious concerns about its long-term viability. As Spirit stares down the barrel of potential bankruptcy, many are left wondering what the future holds for the budget carrier. In the high-stakes world of commercial aviation, mergers and acquisitions are often seen as a path to growth and stability. For Spirit Airlines, the prospect of a merger with Frontier Airlines seemed like a beacon of hope amidst a sea of financial challenges. The two ultra-low-cost carriers, both known for their no-frills approach to air travel, appeared to be a natural fit. However, the proposed merger announced in early 2022 quickly encountered turbulence. Antitrust concerns loomed large, with regulators expressing skepticism about the potential for reduced competition and higher fares. Moreover, the integration of two distinct corporate cultures, each with its own operating procedures and customer base presented a significant challenge. In the end, the merger talks collapsed in July 2023, dealing a significant blow to Spirit's hopes for a turnaround. The failed merger left Spirit in a precarious position, forcing the airline to confront its financial headwinds without the benefit of a partner. The collapse of the Frontier deal underscored the challenges of consolidation in the airline industry, where regulatory scrutiny and the complexities of integration can make mergers a risky proposition. Spirit Airlines, known for its bare-bones approach to air travel and ultra-low fares, has been grappling with a series of financial woes that have cast a shadow over its future. The airline's financial troubles are multifaceted, stemming from a combination of industry headwinds, internal challenges, and the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the most pressing issues facing Spirit is its consistent inability to turn a profit. The airline has reported losses in five out of the last six quarters, a clear indication of its struggles to generate revenue and manage costs effectively. This string of losses has eroded investor confidence and placed immense pressure on the company's balance sheet. Further exacerbating Spirit's financial woes are concerns about its debt load. The airline is saddled with a significant amount of debt, a legacy of its rapid expansion in previous years. This debt burden has become increasingly difficult to manage in the current economic climate, characterized by rising interest rates and economic uncertainty. Faced with mounting financial pressures and the looming specter of bankruptcy, Spirit Airlines has embarked on a series of cost-cutting measures and restructuring efforts in a desperate attempt to right the ship. These measures, while necessary to address the airline's immediate financial challenges, have not been without their critics, who argue that they could undermine Spirit's long-term competitiveness and customer satisfaction. One of the most significant cost-cutting moves has been the decision to furlough around 330 pilots by January 31, 2024. This move, while painful, is aimed at reducing labor costs, which represent a significant portion of an airline's operating expenses. However, it also highlights the difficult choices facing Spirit as it seeks to navigate its financial crisis. In addition to pilot furloughs, Spirit is also selling 23 older Airbus aircraft for $519 million. The airline expects to receive $225 million in liquidity in 2024 from this sale, providing a much-needed cash infusion. However, selling off older aircraft while generating immediate cash could potentially limit Spirit's growth prospects in the future.